Hello, my name is Abe and welcome back to FTL Faster Than Light. On the last run, I cannot remember what ship we played as. Ah, it was the Nisos, wasn't it? Federation B-Type. I'm going to play as the Nether this time around. This is the Zoltan B-Type and we're just going to jump right into it. I've tried this ship a couple of times and if I remember correctly, each time I've tried this ship, it has ended in failure. But I've thought about it. I've thought about it and I think I understand what I need to do in order to have a, a, a successful run here. What I think I need to do is I need to focus more on getting alternate weapons set up because if I remember correctly, the last run we had, I had these ion blasts and that was all I had in like sector four to get around enemy shields and it did not work out that well, did it? No, it did not. I need something else in order to get through enemy shields. I need something else in order to get through and do damage to these guys, take their weapons offline, and two Ion Blasts isn't gonna cut it in the late game. For now, it's probably gonna be fine, but later on, we're gonna need to get something else. And for the first couple of sectors, these Ion Blasts should be good. I'm thinking more of, what are we gonna do on, you know, sector five, sector six, when enemies have three bars of shields and when we miss two shots, we are completely out of options for actually dealing damage to these guys. Now I'm going to take their weapons offline. That actually did kill them. I miscounted their HP. Um, but since we don't have a bar of shields, we actually have to spend 100 scrap to get our first bar of shields. We're basically entirely relying on the Zoltan Super Shield to keep us alive here, because if it ever goes down, we're dead. And I'm hoping that we don't run into situations where the enemy has multiple weapons like this, or they have, uh, you know, uh, beam drones, or even just regular combat drones that are just gonna chew through our super shield very quickly. I am going to focus on these guys' wep uh, weapons instead of the piloting like I did on the last ship, because they have uh, two weapons, and they're not trying to get away. The last ship, they were trying to get away, so I needed to stop them, that's why I hit their piloting system first. These guys, I just need to take them out. The good thing about having the the uh, Ion Blast is that they're, they're actually really good. And in fact, these two Ion Blasts combined are a, pretty much equivalent to one Ion Blast Mark II. It takes four seconds. These take eight seconds each, which means that if I only had one weapon, it would be the equivalent at four seconds. So it, it's a good weapon or pair of weapons to have. They can technically take down enemy shields permanently if you give them enough time. But the problem is that giving them enough time is hard. It's hard because if the enemy dodges enough shots, then they're gonna get their shields online and all of your progress in the fight is going to be completely lost. Uh, it is nice that we are going to get a lot of weapons training very quickly because we have a lot of multiple weapons, these ion blasts in particular. Do you need to take out their weapons though, like ASA flippin' P. Uh, I am going to hit their ox... Uh, I'm going to hit their shields. Uh, I'm going to hit their oxygen. This does four damage. Takes out a few systems. Hopefully takes one of their weapons offline when the ion hits. We're not going to accept surrender. Good, good, good. And as long as one of these ions land on these early ships, we should be fine to take out their weapon systems because they only have... You know, two weapons, and my shields are still online a little bit. Once we get later on, we're going to need to get... Um, that first bar of shields, but for this sector we should be fine, again, unless we come across drones. Drones will absolutely destroy us. And might just ruin the run for us. If we get hit on our shield system, I'll investigate. If I had, like, second level sensors, I think we could have gotten something out of that for free. Uh, but if we... If we get hit, uh, hit on our weapons, on our piloting system, we could just be completely screwed because we can't damage the enemy ship to take out their weapons or their drones. Uh, this beacon after beacon of nothing is actually very distressing because it means that we might not get 100 scrap by the end of the sector. Promise to help, ion weapons, and we can get 20 free scrap from there, which is nice. Normally you don't necessarily get 135 scrap at the end of your first sector. I like just making sure I can get the second level of shields. I'll investigate the battlefield again. We have a mantis, that's fine because it is combat. They can't board us as long as our shield, our super shield is up, so I do want to try to keep it up as long as possible. This heavy laser, though, does two damage to the super shield, so that's kind of annoying and frustrating. 
I can hit their shield system, though, with this Pike Beam. Let's do it like this so that it actually does take out the shields first. Good stuff. And Ions will be able to keep their weapons permanently disabled pretty much until the Pike Beam comes out again. And they do not have... Ooh, they're going to get their shields back online. They probably do have an NG now that I think about it. These Mantis ships usually do have one NG aboard. Okay, another 14 scrap. We're up to 52. We're halfway there to getting the second bar of shields. Or, excuse me, the first bar of shields. I will accept your three fuel. We get a quest marker to the next sector, which is fine. Uh, now, this is a very interesting situation. What do we do? Do we jump to one more beacon, or do we just go to the exit and go to the next sector? I don't know. Not entirely sure what I do here. We're going to take out their heavy la uh, heavy lasers with the ion blast. They, if they both land, our shields are going to be down to one bar. Yeah, luckily our ions did land. Uh, this is very dangerous. This is extremely dangerous. We may, in fact, lose our super shield entirely on the next shot, which is scary, definitely. But nope, we did manage to land the ion blast fast enough that we took their heavy weapons offline. Another thing that's good about these Ion Blasts is that they do fire very quickly. I do appreciate that. This should kill them. Five rooms, five damage. They're going to give me a Repair Arm Augment. This is interesting because I actually really do not like the Repair Arm. I think it's actually kind of garbage, but it is worth 25 scrap. And it will keep us repaired until we can get to a store and sell it. I don't like the repair arm. It reduces your scrap collected by 15%, but it heals you for a couple of whole points every time you collect scrap. <sighs> I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to accept it because it is 25 scrap. So this is a pretty much a 32 scrap deal. And we will have to go to a store and sell it at some point. It does sell for 25. I could, could go to one of these stores, but then I'd have to go and sneak through the rebels at this beacon. Would, would we be able to? We could. But I, I do worry about the enemy ship at the beacon having a lot of weapons cutting through our, sh our shields, and then we, won't, we, we wouldn't be able to offer up any resistance to it. I think instead I'm going to go to the rock-controlled sector, and I'm going to find a store probably as soon as possible, and get rid of this repair arm. It's, it's, it's a bad augment. I only took it because it's worth a lot of money. We will attack the mantises. They do have a dual laser plus a bomb. Honestly, this is just exactly the same as the heavy laser. It's going to do two damage to our super shields. So, you know, this is a a ship that we have seen before and we've been winning these ships before. Now, the uh, the problem with it, the, the difference is that if it hits the one level of super shield we have left, they would still be able to actually do damage to our hull. Our ion shots, though, are landing enough that we can get in there and take their weapons offline. One more pike beam. I'm going to let the ion shots go in. I, I kind of mismanaged the uh, firing of the pike beam. Okay, 16 more scrap. There are two stores. There are two stores. We will go to these stores. Well, well at least one of them. I do need to sell the repair arm and buy second level of shields. But I think I'm just going to go to beacons, uh, get a little bit more scrap, and then sell the repair arm. Buy fuel. I will buy fuel. It's cheap here, and that's basically why I'm doing it. We will be able to pick up enough scrap to get the shields. It might take one or two bits of combat, but that's fine. Again, this ship, we've seen this ship before. One heavy laser. It's going to bounce off of our super shields, do two damage. The bomb. Hopefully it's not an ion bomb, because ion bombs do do double damage against the super shields. This laser, though, it's going to wound. Oh, nice miss. We should be perfectly fine then on this encounter. Ooh, and another nice miss. Good job, guys. Giles is now trained up in weapons, which is good. Ooh, and both, both of the ions landing on the weapons is actually good. It's going to keep them down for 10 seconds, and these ions are just going to take down, take down their shields. Okay, 15 more scrap, up to 78. 
I would like to get scrap before. Oh shit. We we gotta go, man. This is this is extremely dangerous. With those asteroids coming in, our shields are gonna go down extremely quickly. We have to jump out ASA flippin' P. Their shields are down now too, so the asteroids are gonna help us. But I, I'm extremely worried about this. Their weapons are offline, their shields are offline, asteroids are gonna be hitting our hull though. Okay, there's one. The repair arm will repair us slightly at the end of this encounter because we have taken uh, hull damage. We're just gonna jump to the store and sell it though. Even though we only took one point of damage, it will still take out 15% scrap. So 17 goes down to 14, so that's three scrap for that one repair, which isn't really worth it, honestly. I'm gonna open up the doors, vent out the oxygen system. We're, we're gonna have to get people into the med bay to, to uh, heal them after we uh, repair the oxygen system, but we'll be able to do it just fine. And we're gonna sell the repair arm, and before we do anything else, we're gonna worry about this situation. We actually should be able to um, get oxygen in the room just by opening up all the doors. Oxygen from the rest of the ship will flow into the room with low oxygen, and they will be able to get this repaired without taking any health damage, which is actually quite nice. And there, we, there they go. They're just gonna go back to their rooms, get the O2 system repaired, and we are going to buy nothing except for the shield upgrade. It's gotta happen. No. Ship. Shields. Gotta happen. Now we can get the shields powered if we depower oxygen and engines, but it's definitely worth having because now we have some defense against you know, the occasional shot coming in at us. And I might, in fact, go to a lot of beacons on this sector. Upgraded the reactor by one. Thank you very much. We, I might go to uh, all the distress beacons, the quest, go up behind the exit and then swing by the exit and sneak by the rebel fleet because there's a lot of beacons that we can go to in advance. Or not in advance, but in excess of just hitting up the exit beacon. Uh, the chain laser is actually really nice to get. I, I actually think it's a terrible weapon. However... In this situation, it actually fits nicely because it fires in 16 seconds, which is as long as it takes the pike beam to charge up anyways. And since we're probably want, wanting to focus all of our firepower on one shot, this is a good opportunity to do that. After a few shots, the chain laser will fire faster, but the big thing about it is that it can take down shields for the pike beam to fire. Uh, stasis chamber, we're just gonna take the weapon. Pegasus missiles is very nice. And all of a sudden, our weapon situation is kind of resolved. We have a lot of options available to us. We can get Pike Beam, Chain Laser, Pegasus. You know, we, we don't even need both Ion Blasts. We could use Ion Blast, Chain Laser to get through the shields, Pike Beam to do the damage, and Pegasus could just be on the side as a bit of an alpha strike to take out enemy weapons or shields or something. I think we're in a good situation. All right, good thing I got that bar of shields online because they're... Combat drone is going to be annoying. I am going to focus fire on their drone system because as long as their drone is offline, they can't damage us with just their beam. So I'm going to, tr I mean, if I can take their weapons offline with this pike beam, I'm going to do it too. Good stuff. Yeah, their drone's gonna be offline for quite a while and pike beam will be able to destroy them on the next shot because it will hit five rooms for five damage. And thanks to getting the the skill level bonus on our crew member, we're going to be able to fire a little bit more quickly as well. We shouldn't need to worry about their shields coming back online before the pike beam can fire. Okay, we can go to this beacon, then this beacon, and then these two beacons, then the exits. We are going to pick up a little bit more beacons than you would normally expect. I'm probably going to dump the, ex the excess power into piloting shields and dodge chance as well as the reactor to get more power to actually power all this stuff. And we're just, we're just going to try to get out of the sector as fast as possible. At the beacon, of course. We're going to attack the slavers. They're probably going to offer us a crew member. The question is, do I want to accept it? The answer is, I don't know. We'll decide in a minute. Might as well take out their weapons, because if their laser goes offline, they can't damage us. Their uh, drone, its beam is just going to bounce off of our shields anyways. And I can hit a lot of good systems here. Shields, weapons, oxygen, engine, and drone. 
It's their drone is still online because they have multiple drones. They don't just have this one drone. They probably have like a system repair drone, maybe a anti-personnel drone or something. We're gonna be able to take them out though. They're probably getting their shields repaired, but not fast enough before the laser is going to just wreck them. And I, I kind of do want another crew member, honestly. And the reason for that is Emma can now go on shield system and give it one bar of power. So now we, we're not wasting the Zoltan power on the piloting system, which doesn't use it. Basically, we just got a free reactor upgrade by taking the crew member, and I think that's worth it. We didn't get scrap, but that's okay. And actually, we might not be able to go to two beacons. We might only be able to go to one more beacon because of this jumping we're doing. Although, this counted as one of the beacons, right? And this counts as the other one, I think? Yeah, yeah, that sounds about right. So we are going to go to two more beacons. This was just one of those. We're just going to go to one of these and then hit up hit up the exit. I might as well get something upgraded now because at the on this next jump we might not be able to get something upgraded. We might have a situation where we're in an asteroid field or something and then we can't upgrade some upgrade our ship anymore. So that is not the case. We will be able, able to spend our scrap upgrading our ship. I might go for second bar of shields, but I might just go with engine power because we actually do not have the reactor power in order to get one more bar of shields. Like the reactor, would, we would have to take power away from engines. And the whole point about this rebel uh, beacon that we're going to jump to next is we have to get out of it ASAP before they hit us, before they attack us, before they destroy us. And depowering the engines just makes that take a while. Take more time anyways. So yeah, you know, I could upgrade the uh, shields, but then I would have... I could move power from oxygen into uh, engines, but then the shields wouldn't be powered up at all, unless I depowered my weapons. I would still like to use my weapons, though, neuter the enemy ships so that they can't damage us quite as much. So instead, we're just going to go hard on engine power. And this is actually not even a bad... Uh, a bad call anyways because the more dodge chance we have the longer this super shield is going to last so we're going to remove power from oxygen put it into engines jump to the exit and hope we make it out we are in danger i do believe that the asb goes through the super shield anyways so we will have to um you know take three points of damage most likely unless we evade with 30 percent one ion shot landed, one missed. That means that we will not be able to break through their shields on this volley. I could get the chain laser set up, but I might as well just stick with the ions. Both shots missed. So you know what? We're going to just just stick with it. It's fine. Missile's going to bounce off the shields. We have one point of super shield remaining. Okay, two land. That's good. Super shield. Okay, the ASB comes in. It hits an empty room, which is nice. Missile's coming in. It's going to hit us in the weapons room. So you know what? We're going to depower one of the ion blasts instead. I'm moving the pike beam so that it, it doesn't get hit by the uh, by the weapon. One ion blast is going to be depowered. But if this, if this ion blast hits, we can take out some of their weapons. It missed. Well. Well. <laughs> Well, that's all there is to it then. Let's get the oxygen powered up a little bit. We're going to be able to jump out before the next missile hits. So, at the very least, we only got hit for a couple of points of damage. That's not too bad. I'm going to go down to the middle of the of the uh, galaxy map here, because why not? We're going to get stuff repaired, get this breach repaired, and get the shield room powered up. Everyone's going to need to get into the med bay, except for uh, Rockman. He's fine in the piloting system. Okay, Med Bay is powered up to level two. And that was not too bad, honestly. We still, we only have uh, six damage to our ship. That's not too bad. Next upgrades, maybe weapons, but honestly, second bar of shields is probably more important. Don't need to go to the store. Uh, we need to go to the store now that I look at our fuel situation. A Manta ship, we should be able to take out their We should be able to take out their 
shields, and I think I actually am going to try to use the chain laser. If both shots land, it's the same as the ion blast, it's just that their shields don't stay down for as long as they would normally. We're gonna try it. They're gonna charge at about the same time. We dodge both shots, which is nice. Basically allows me one free shot at this. Both shots landed, we can hit them in their clone bay, shield room weapons. Maybe I should hit them like... So, empty room? No, I'd rather them do a lot of repairing, so we're gonna hit them like this. Take out their piloting system too. Okay, now unfortunately they still have two bars of shields. They had some redundant shield power, so we can't use chain laser to hurt them. We still have to use the pike beam. It's unfortunate, but it's gotta happen. Okay, next chain laser shot going in. We're just gonna hit them in the same rooms. Their piloting system is offline, so those shots were going to land 100%. And they're dead. Even if I could just get 50 scrap, I could get one of the ion blasts online, which kind of sounds like a good idea in my in my eyes, because then we would still be able to use it to take down one more bar of shields, you know? Uh, I would like to go to the store, but I can go boom, boom, up, and then around. Yeah, let's go to one more beacon, then hit up the store. We have the Pegasus missile to sell if we don't want it. Honestly, we might not want it. They are boarding us. Uh, three mantises kind of sucks. We're going to have to open all doors and hopefully try to get them into the med bay. This is a very dangerous situation. Our ship, we're going to lose a lot of power because the Zoltans are going to be running out of the room, so I'm going to depower the engines a little bit. Uh, don't need the oxygen powered up because we're not going to be using it necessarily. Okay, they're going to run into the med bay. Perfect. Close all doors, turn on the oxygen system. I will turn off the shields, in fact, and I will uh, micro power into the shields and engines as we go here. But we will be able to kill the, Zolt the uh, mantises one on one with the second powered med bay. This is a no brainer. Let's get the uh, dodge chance up as much as possible. Keep the super shield for as long as we can. And chain laser. If the chain laser lands, it will take out their weapons slightly, and then we can just switch over to the uh, to the shields. In fact, let's do that right now. Get the shields powered up. Chain laser is about to fire. It landed enough that pike beam can get in there and at least take one of their weapons offline. Now they still have the charge laser. They can shoot it once, or they can shoot it twice. It depends on what they want to do. Okay. Uh, keep the shields online, get the oxygen powered up, and everyone go back to your rooms as soon as power comes back. Oh, they're boarding us again. But you know what? Oh, Christ. Um, open all doors except for the med bay and the pilot. We'll wait a second longer. Chain laser can fire. We're going to wait, and we're going to fire it right now on their shield system. No, now on their weapons. Take that weapon offline. And Pike Beam should be able to land. I put everyone back in their rooms like an idiot. Get back into the med bay, you dongles. Okay, they're dead at least, but this is this is a, a bit of a mismanaged uh, end to this fight because I uh, almost let my crew members get severely wounded. Let's let the Zoltan kill this guy because the pilot, ideally he's never gonna get into combat. Uh, unless we get a crew teleporter. So you know what, pilot, smack him around. Get to the med bay. All right, can we go to a store? I could, but then I'd have to backtrack. So you know what? We're just going to push forward and hope that we pick up more fuel. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't like backtracking. There should be more stores because this is a green sector. So we're going to push forward to the Distress Beacon, hope they offer us fuel, and see where we go from there. I really just don't like backtracking. I really don't. Maybe there's a store next to this beacon as well. Hail them. Okay, we're gonna switch over to the Ion Blast. Why? Ion Blasts really do cut through enemy shields very quickly. Uh, I might even want to get the Chain Laser online because I can focus fire on the enemy weapon systems with it. They have three weapons. I'd rather they didn't have three weapons. So we're gonna we're gonna get the on blast chain laser and chain laser it takes the same length of time to charge as the pike beam 
and hopefully we can target it a little bit more directly on the enemy weapons. And the Ion Blasts, they do two damage against the Super Shields. It's already almost offline. Our Super Shield is now permanently offline, so this is going to be a little bit dangerous. Chain Laser could fire it. I am going to fire it. We did take their Heavy Laser offline, which honestly, if I had to take something offline, I'm glad it's the Heavy Laser. Okay, we got hit in the engines once, once, but the shields did come back online before their beam fired, which is good. Their weapons are now permanently offline, so the Iron Blasts are going to go on their shields. Chain Laser is going to auto-fire because it's going to charge up very quickly now. It's going to be able to take out their weapons and keep them offline. Bjorn, you might as well get into the med bay because we have a moment. Get the oxygen powered up as well. And we are now fine. Chain laser is going to finish them off. Good, good, good. System repair drone. That's 15 scrap to sell, plus another 12 scrap. We did pick up a little bit of fuel, and there is a store. And we're going to jump to the store immediately, and then bounce around at the nebula, and then back down to the exit, because we need, we need, we need to buy fuel. We don't need to repair. We can sell stuff, maybe buy some stuff from this, the uh, store, but we need, we need fuel. A uh, weapon pre-igniter is wonderful, and I am going to purchase it. So we're going to sell system repair drone. We're going to sell the Pegasus, I believe. Yeah, we're going to sell the Pegasus. It's it's a good weapon, but I kind of like having pike beam chain laser. It's actually it's actually really freaking good with the uh, weapon pre-igniter. You open a fight with the Pegasus, you can switch over to the ion blasts and the pike beam. Crap! What do we do? Drone control system repair drone, no. Backup battery, yes, but there's a weapon pre-igniter. We gotta buy it. I think, unfortunately, I sell the Pegasus. It's a good weapon to have immediately. It's such a good weapon to have when you immediately come out of a, out of a FTL. Take out an enemy weapon system, and then you just bought, bought yourself time, basically. Well, crap. <laughs> um, could go Pegasus chain laser pike beam and drop the ion blasts i need the thing is is that i do need to sell enough scrap to use or to, to uh, buy the weapon pre-igniter i could sell pike beam i could sell chain laser i could sell pegasus or i could sell both ion blasts selling one won't be enough and i still need to buy fuel but i i, I would rather have weapon pre-igniter pegasus than one more fuel um I think we I think we sell the Pegasus and the reason why is that the chain laser is going to be firing faster and faster as it goes and as long as the ion blasts land the chain laser will still be able to do a lot of damage the pike beam we can put that online later and then with the ion blast that should be pretty good yeah I'm gonna sell the Pegasus it's a it's a good weapon to have it's it's a one of the better missile launcher weapons but I have to buy weapon pre igniter because Weapon Pre-Igniter is that good. And the next scrap is 100% going in on Weapon System, because now we have the ability to be incredibly offensively powered with our weapons. We will secure the fuel supply, even though we will probably be destroying the ship, unfortunately. Let's get the uh, Chain Laser online. It is still mostly powered. And we are going to take their weapons... And we're going to take their shields offline, because the chain laser is going to fire very quickly. It's going to fire faster than whatever they've got. Good, and we did take out their missile weapon, which is all we needed. And as long as the ions keep landing on their shields, they can't power up their shields at all. So we're, we should be fine here. Yeah, their ion's going to hit my shields. It does four ion damage, which is a lot, but it doesn't matter because they can't actually hurt us at all. And this is a pretty easy encounter for us. You know, we, we can't kill the ship. There, there's no way we can do it. They have, you know, a couple of Rockmen as crew members. They have a lot of HP. If we had a teleporter, we could. If we had a hacking system, we probably could. But not like this. We did get two fuel out of it, so it's not half bad. Uh, I, I wish I could have gotten the piloting upgrade because there are beacons you can get here with uh, the Ion Storm that would potentially kill a crew member if you don't have the uh, second level pilot. But luckily we didn't get that situation, so we're fine. Send the rock crew member in and we get advanced FTL navigation. It means we can jump backwards wherever we, we want. We can jump back to the store, in fact, if we wanted to right now. 
kind of cool. Uh, unnecessary, though. <coughs> Excuse me. Because we are just going to go down here and then hit up the exit, so we should be fine. 40 scrap. What do we buy? Uh, 50 scrap gets us one more reactor power, so we're going to wait. And with that reactor power, we can get the pike beam up. Ooh, they've got a lot of weapons. Luckily, the Ion Blasts will be able to take out their shields pretty quickly. I am going to also fire the Chain Laser once to get its cooldown lower and also reduce their uh, super shield. So now their super shield is offline. We're going to get our dodge chance up. They also have mind control. They will be mind controlling us as soon as they get our super shields offline, which is right now. Piloting's offline. That sucks, but I don't know what to do about it unless we can hit their um, mind control system when the ions land in a second. Well, they missed, and the lasers missed, so... I mean, we gotta get we gotta get someone in there to get us a dodge chance. Door system's on fire, so oxygen's gonna be depowered. This is, this is actually kind of dangerous right now. We're in a bad situation. Take out that mind control. Our chain lasers, they're not doing their job. Get into the piloting system. More missiles are coming in. Hit them in their weapon system, maybe? Oh my god, we're getting hit so hard! We might just die right here, and... Honestly, I'm not entirely sure what we could have done to uh, prevent this. I could, guess I could have tried maybe focusing on getting the... Getting the... Shields upgraded a little bit sooner, but... I don't know. We have no shields, so... We're just going to hope that these these shots miss. Maybe if I'm lucky, I can take out their weapons. Allow us to maybe dodge the heck out of here. Oh, don't mind control him. Oh. Okay, get the oxygen powered up. The fire is going to take out the... It's going to die out in the door system in a second. We need to get the freaking chain laser online. I could jump to the store, but I don't think that's the best action here. I think the best course of action is... Get as much repaired as possible and then jump out before our uh, our medbay takes damage. Oh, but it did take damage because the mind control didn't wear off until after we jumped. And these guys are trying to escape. I don't know why. Whenever you have no fuel, the enemy always tries to escape. I don't understand it. I actually don't. We're going to fire on their shield system ASAP. Now that the chain laser can get powered up. I'll keep the chain laser powered up instead of the pike beam. Get the med bay repaired. Yeah, I might as well. My crew is severely wounded. I need to get them into the med bay to get them healed up, even if even if it takes us some time here. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I didn't realize there was no oxygen in the room, and he had so low health. Now the ion blast is offline. Oh, I'm so I'm so screwed on this run. Oh, and their heavy laser is still online. Take it out. Take it out before it fires. You, oh no. Here it comes. Oh, we did get the shields online. Oh my god. This, I hate this game sometimes. All right, Ion's going. You know what, we're, we're, we're just going to have to deal. We're just going to have to deal with it. You are going to be the new weapons person. Uh, shield personnel is probably more important at this point. What this means is that we do need more uh, crew members now. We need more reactor power as well. Uh, this is not going well. Keep their shields offline so that the chain laser can take out their piloting system. I, I am screwing this run up, and I, I have said that a couple of times already, but... Oh, I don't know why. I don't know why the Zoltan B-Type, it just doesn't doesn't meld well with me. With me. The A-Type is just OP with the halberd, halberd Beam. Okay. Everyone who's wounded, get into the med bay. Yes, I know people are dead. It's going to happen. You two get the sh uh, doors repaired. We did get three fuel out of that, which is, you know, I'm thankful for that because without that fuel, we would be trapped here. Okay, 60 scrap. You know what? We need to get the second bar of shields online. I've learned my lesson. We are just getting eaten up as soon as the super shield goes offline. Okay, they're going to cloak, they have Ion, they have Laser. 
our weapons are powered up. I'm gonna get as much power in the, into the dodge chance initially because they, because I want the uh, super shield to last for as long as possible. We're gonna hit him on shields. Both shots landed, we're gonna hit him on weapons. Well, we missed enough shots that unfortunately we will, we will not be able to take out their weapon system. Chain laser is probably going to be able to fire before they cloak again because we have the weapon pre-igniter. So we're going to get shields powered up to level 2 now. It's going to affect our dodge chance, but it's got to happen. Their shields are still ionized. I want them to stay ionized. Their weapons are now offline. They only have the single shot laser, so we can get oxygen powered up. Okay, they cloaked. I don't know why D auto-fired the ion blast. It's not like they were going to fire at all. Yep, and they got their shields back online, but that's okay because our chain laser is getting powered up and as it gets to level 3, we will be able to do a lot more damage a lot more quickly with it. That's enough. Two shots landed. Take Took out there. Oh, I'm such an idiot. I should have put... Oh, I'm such an idiot. God dang it. We have to get this stuff repaired now. What I did wrong there was I forgot to repower up the shields. So we got hit in the door system. Not the door system, excuse me. The... Uh, Weapon system, and now we have to get those repaired, and the chain laser lost all of its power. They got a lot of shots coming in. Let's get the dodge chance up. Iron blasts, auto fire. Okay, two iron shots did land. We're safe as long as we have two. I can get the oxygen pack. We're safe as long as we have two bars of shields and only two of their ions land. If this lands, though, we are not in a good position. So let's get the dodge chance up. 12%. It hit, but I'm not entirely sure why it didn't cost us one bar of shields. I, I don't mind, because it means that we will be able to uh, block this laser shot coming in. Okay. We're fine. We're fine. We can recover. We can recover. Get the shields powered up so that when the ions hit, they don't permanently go offline. Yeah, there we go. I just need to. I need to let my let the uh, the power that's uh, coming out of the shield due to the ionization. I need to let it sit in the reactor and not assign it anywhere because what's happening is I'm assigning it somewhere and then the power can't go back into the shield system as soon as the ionization wears off. I think that's what's happening here. Or at least what caused me to take that hit in the weapons room. We do need to get some uh, oxygen at some point in the near future, but I do want to hit him in the weapons one more time before I divert power back into O2. Okay, three ions coming in. Can't do anything about it. Hopefully we get a miss. Nope, so there. Laser will probably do some nasty damage to us. Yeah. Dodge chance up. <laughs> what can I say? I'm lucky. Dodge chance up. Chain laser their weapons. Dodge chance up. Hit, hit me in the shields. That's fine. We still have one bar of shields. I'm an idiot. I am an actual factual idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot! You want to know why I'm an idiot? I will tell you why I'm an idiot. Zoltans provide power to whatever room they're in. And in this case, they're providing power into the shield room. That's the uh, yellow bars. That's what that represents. The uh, power that the Zoltans provide cannot be ionized. Which means that if I have two Zoltans in the shield room, we literally cannot take damage in this fight forever. And I'm an idiot, and I'm not internalizing that, and so we're actually taking a lot of unnecessary damage. The ions hit, doesn't matter. Doesn't actually ionize the uh, Zoltan power. The only thing that can damage me is their laser, and I'm letting it damage me by having my shields go offline. I don't need to do that. I'm an idiot. So, I could have completely, completely prevented all of the damage that we have taken in this fight by just having my crew members stand in the ox in the shield room. So, I am I am a big idiot. I will admit that. We will be able to, to uh, destroy the ship. It's going to take a while, but they can't hurt me anymore now that I've realized, oh, hey, you should be doing this thing because it prevents you from taking damage. And we will destroy them. It's going to take a while. 
They're going to try to surrender. They're offering three fuel. So you know what? I'm going to accept it. And normally I don't ex like accepting surrender offers, but I feel like they taught me a lesson. A lesson that I had forgotten for some reason, and I would like to take... I'm just, I'm just gonna take the lesson on the chin. You know, I've learned, I've learned that if we come across ions, we should put our Zoltans in the shield room. I will give you 15 missiles. You will give me 37 scrap plus five hull points repaired. That's really freaking good. We're going to go to the civilian sector because there's a couple of red beacons here. I mean, there's a couple of red beacons here as well, but NG controlled sectors, I don't want to fight drones if at all possible, so. 40 scrap, what do we do? Can't go to distress because it is a dead end. Kinda need to go to the store. I can sell advanced FTL navigation, so we'll go boop, boop, up. Nope. We're gonna go store and then over. Cause these both these beacons are both dead ends. I can go boop, boop, store, but then I'd still have to backtrack somewhere. So we're just gonna go to the store immediately, buy fuel, sell the advanced FTL navigation, and hopefully be able to get one more weapon online. Backup battery would actually be a purchase here because I'm I'm low on power, very low on power. So we're gonna sell that. Burst laser is a good weapon. I think we're fine with the two ion blasts for now. We're gonna buy backup battery. I mean, ion blast is good. It's the same as these ion blasts, so it's exactly the same except it's one weapon slot instead of two, and we're fine with with having both of these. So backup battery, a lot of fuel. A little bit of repairing, and now I have some bonus dodge chance that I can turn on whenever I want. So at least, at least we've got the battery charger now. I shouldn't have any sort of problems with uh, with power anymore. We need to fire immediately because we have ion blasts. Both shots landed. I'm gonna fire on their weapons. Both shots missed. Well. I'd rather have the ions land than the chain laser because the ions need to work more repeatedly. So now that the uh, second ion shot landed, two shots might be able to take out their weapons. And their weapons do scare me a little bit. I would like to take them out if at all possible, take out that burst laser mark too. We took down the beam, we took down the ion, we might still take some damage here. Yeah, we got hit once in the shield room, which sucks, but it's gonna happen. Okay, now we need to hit them in their piloting system, because if they get away, that's bad. Lower dodge chance, hopefully the ions can hit. Jump imminent. Nope, they're gonna get away. And we have no FTL charged up. Jump! <laughs> Why did we jump? Because we don't get hit by the negative effect of them escaping. It sucks, but it's gotta happen, because unfortunately they got away. Let's keep the dodge chance up, ion blasts go in immediately. Chain laser hits on their weapons. Oh, I don't know what it is about this ship. It just doesn't meld with my brain. I'm gonna let that, you know, single laser hit and we're just gonna get our backup battery repaired. So I have some more power to play with and I, I might as well use it. There's no point really in saving it. Their weapons are wounded enough that hopefully their missiles never gonna come back online until I can take out their piloting system or their shield system. Hit them in the piloting, reduce their dodge chance, they're going to get in there and repair it. Hit them in the shield room, get their crew in there to repair it. Uh, four fuel, eight missiles is really good. I'm not going to, I'm going to accept because the four fuel and the eight missiles were, it was too good of an opportunity to pass up. I, I don't need missiles, but I can always come across a beacon that's like, hey, we want to buy your missiles. I can do that. We will look for the rebel ship, we will find the rebel ship, we will attack their shields, chain laser their weapons, and taking out, well they actually changed their power around but that's fine. Taking out one of their weapons is enough. Their charged laser if it fires all four times could be dangerous to me but, you know, taking, if they only have this double shot laser online we can't take damage because we have two bars of shields. Okay, they have no shields. We can hit them in their piloting system temporarily. Why? Reduce their dodge chance to zero so that the ions continue to stack on their shields. We don't need to worry about their charge lasers because we still have uh, super shield power. 
Now I can fire once on their weapon system to take them offline, and I can just keep firing on all of their weapons, all of their engines, oxygen, piloting, keep them repairing stuff, keep them occupied. There's a fire in their ship, actually. That's a bad surrender offer, no thank you. Um, I can put my engine personnel into the shield room, not shield room, sensors room, and see what's going on. So their crew are dying. They're coming back to life because they have the clone bay. I do want the fire to continue to spread. Uh, we're probably just gonna have to kill them. Actually, we might not, we might not need to kill them. If I can ion blast their clone bay, their crew will die. But their crew's dead because of all of the, uh, the fire. They're, they're just going to uh, take hull damage on their ship, so we're just gonna have to kill them. They're trying to jump away. Oh, uh, I didn't realize that. Uh, luckily, we did kill them. Holy crap, that was uh, a little bit scary. We did get three fuel out of that. I almost screwed that up miserably. Why do we not have power? Because you need to go into the med bay. You need to go back into, not you, Bjorn. Bjorn, our engine man. He's a good engine man. We have a good pilot, too. Super shield does allow us to, uh, you know, hopefully get some more dodge chances when we can. Or I should say that's why our shield personnel isn't as trained up. We're gonna attack the automated ship. We're gonna hit him in the shield room. This is a this is a nasty encounter. Uh, we don't need a shield personnel though. And thinking about it, we really don't. We need a weapons personnel because we're we're focusing a lot on weapon power, aren't we? We're focusing on weapons because we have the weapon pre-igniter. We're focusing on weapons because we, uh, you know, we have the super shield. If we can take them out before they take us out, we're fine. Now, unfortunately, their shields are preventing us from getting, or their dodge chance is preventing us from getting enough shots in on their, or with the Iron Blaster, the chain laser can do damage. I am going to try to stick with this fight, but freaking Iron Blasts, man. This is like the second run in a, in a row with the ship where I've kept the Ion Blast and I've regretted it because they just, they do not get through enemy shields all that well. I mean, this ship has three bars of shields, which is, which is a little bit abnormal, but I mean, I might as well fire to get the cooldown reduced on the chart on the chain laser. That's what I'm thinking. I can't, I can't run from every fight. I don't, I, it doesn't matter that that's offline, but I, I have to stay and fight these guys because if I if I'm running from this ship that has ions and one missile weapon, then I'm not going to last very long, am I? It doesn't matter that we're taking damage. If if we die here, we die here. But oh, we got oh crap! The weapons were ionized. I was kind of worried about that. As long as the ions keep landing, though, we can keep their shields offline. Uh, well, now we can't. Uh, weapons were ionized, so the Ion Blast is offline, get, the, get powered up, whatever. You know what, if we die here, we die here. I, I, I submit. I submit, game. Yeah. I could have, I could have jumped away. I, I, honestly, I didn't want to. And maybe that's my fault. Maybe we could have turned it around, but, you know, this is... This was either the second or third ship that we had to jump away from, and having to jump away from sh ships in Sector 3, Sector 4, that's a sign of a doomed run, especially, you know, on hard. Um, what could we have done differently? I think... I think I should have focused... Uh, shields? I think I should have focused getting that fifth weapon power up so we could have chain laser, pike beam, ion blast, Maybe even I should have just used the Pegasus because when one shot lands, it does two damage to the system immediately. You don't have to wait for the Iron Blast to continuously land. So I think, again, I'm focusing too much on these Ion Blasts and I need to stop doing that because we run into situations like this where we cannot pierce the enemy shields because they have too high of a dodge chance. So on the next run, I don't know what I'm gonna play as. But regardless, thank you very much for watching. 
like if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe for more FTL, and I hope to see you again for the next run.